بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we have integral x from 0 to infinity sin x to the power n divided by x squared n is a positive integer greater than or equal to 2 let's focus first on the case where n is even we make use of this result integral x from 0 to infinity of sin x squared over x squared f of x is equal to the integral of x from 0 to pi over 2 of f of x f of x is a periodic even function the period of f of x is pi this result is relevant to our case because if n is an even integer n can be written as 2 times k where k is a positive integer the integral of interest can be written as integral x from 0 to infinity sin x over x squared times sin x to the power 2k minus 2 sin x raised to an even power is an even function the period of sin x is 2 pi when the sine of x is raised to an even power the period is pi to establish this result we make use of euler's sine product formula sine pi x over x is the product over positive integer n of 1 minus x squared over n squared assuming that x is not an integer take the logarithm of both sides on the left hand side we get log sine pi x minus log x on the right hand side the logarithm of the product is the sum of logarithms specifically we get a sum over positive integer n of log 1 minus x squared over n squared differentiate both sides with respect to x on the left hand side we get sine by x in the denominator in the numerator we get cosine by x multiplied by y from here we get minus 1 over x differentiating the right hand side term by term we get summation over positive integer n of 1 minus x squared over n squared in the denominator upstairs we get minus 2x over n squared the sum here can be simplified as 2x over x squared minus n squared. Let's differentiate again. This part is pi times the cotangent of pi x. The derivative with respect to x is minus y squared, the cosecant squared of pi x. The derivative of this term is plus 1 over x squared. Differentiating the right-hand side term by term, we get minus 2 summation n from 1 to infinity x squared plus n squared divided by the square of x squared minus n squared. We can write 2x squared plus 2n squared as x plus n squared plus x minus n squared. The denominator can be written as x plus n squared times x minus n squared. The sum here is equal to 1 over x plus n squared plus 1 over x minus n squared. The sum over positive integer n is the sum over non-zero integer n of 1 over x minus n squared. We can move 1 over x squared to this side and write it as minus 1 over x minus 0 squared. This means that pi squared times the square of cosecant pi x is summation over integer n of 1 over n minus x squared. Suppose that z is not an integer multiple of pi. Replace x on both sides by z over pi. We get pi squared times the square of cosecant z equal to the sum over integer n of 1 over n minus z over pi all squared. Multiply both sides by sine z squared over pi squared. We get that the sum over integer n of sine z squared divided by the square of z minus pi n equal to 1. This is the result that we need to establish this identity. The integral of x from 0 to infinity of sine x over x squared times f of x is one half the integral over real value x of sine x over x squared times f of x. This is because the integrand is an even function as f of x is an even function. Split this integral into integrals from minus m pi minus pi over 2 to minus m pi minus pi over 2 plus pi where m is an integer. When m is 0, we are integrating from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. When m is 1, we are integrating from minus 3 pi over 2 to minus pi over 2. When m is minus 1, we are integrating from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2, and so forth. Do the change of variables y equal to x plus m pi. When x is minus m pi minus pi over 2, y is minus pi over 2. When x is minus m pi minus pi over 2 plus pi, y is pi over 2. Sin x squared is equal to sine y squared. x squared is the square of y minus m pi. f of x is f of y minus m pi. dy is equal to dx. f of x is a pi periodic function. This means that f of y minus an integer multiple of pi is exactly equal to f of y. Swapping the order of summation and integration, this side is equal to 1 half integral y from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. f of y, summation over integer m of sine y squared divided by y minus m pi all squared. By this result here, this summation is equal to 1. Because f of y is an even function, we can write this as integral y from 0 to pi over 2 of f of y. If k is a positive integer, the integral x from 0 to infinity of sine x to the power 2k divided by x squared 
is equal to integral x from 0 to infinity of sine x over x all squared times sine of x raised to the power 2k minus 2. This function is even and is pi periodic. This integral is equal to integral x from 0 to pi over 2 of sine x to the power 2k minus 2. When z1 and z2 have real parts that are strictly positive, beta of z1 and z2 is 2 times integral x from 0 to pi over 2 of sine x to the power 2z1 minus 1 times cosine x to the power 2z2 minus 1. This integral here is integral x from 0 to pi over 2 sine x to the power 2 between brackets k minus 1 half minus 1 times cosine x raised to the power 2 times 1 half minus 1. From this result here, the integral is 1 half beta of k minus 1 half and 1 half. Beta of z1 and z2 is gamma of z1 times gamma of z2 divided by gamma of z1 plus z2. This beta function is gamma of k minus 1 half times gamma of 1 half, which is the square root of pi, divided by gamma of the sum, which is gamma of k. k is a positive integer. Gamma of k is k minus 1 factorial. Gamma of z plus 1 is z times gamma of z. Gamma of k minus 1 is k minus 3 over 2 times gamma of k minus 3 over 2. This is k minus 5 over 2. Gamma of k minus 5 over 2. We can carry out this operation till we reach 3 over 2 times 1 half gamma of 1 half. This is a square root pi. Times the square root pi, we get pi. We have this factorial of k minus 1. We also have this product. We can multiply each of the k minus 1 terms by 2. Now we have a ratio with 2 to the power k minus 1 in the denominator. In the numerator, we have 1 times 3 times 5 all the way to 2k minus 3. Multiply by 2 times 4 times 6 all the way to 2k minus 2. The extra terms here are 2 to the power k minus 1 times k minus 1 factorial. Downstairs, we have 2 to the power 2k minus 2 times the square of k minus 1 factorial. Upstairs, we have pi times the factorial of 2k minus 2. The integral of interest is 1 half this value. I can change this power to 2k minus 1. Multiply and divide by 2k minus 1 times 2k. Multiply and divide by k squared. This part is the factorial of 2k divided by the square of factorial k. This is 2k choose k. We have pi. 2 times 2 to the 2k minus 1 is 2 to the power 2k. k squared over k is k. The integral x from 0 to pi over 2 sine x to the power 2k over x squared is pi over 2 to the power 2k times k over 2k minus 1 times 2k choose k. Now let's shift our focus to the case in which sine is raised to an odd integer power greater than or equal to 3. The integral of interest here is written over x from alpha to infinity. Later, we take the limit as alpha approaches 0 from above. Sine x to the power 2n plus 1 is e to the i x minus e to the minus i x divided by 2i, all raised to the power 2n plus 1. From this bracket, take e to the i x as a common factor. Sine x to the power 2n plus 1 is e to the i x times 2n plus 1 divided by 2i to the power 2n plus 1. This ratio is multiplied by 1 minus e to the minus i to x raised to the power 2n plus 1. The binomial expansion is summation k from 0 to 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1 choose k, minus 1 to the power k, e to the minus i, x 2k. When we multiply by this exponential, we get this term. 1 over i to the power 2n plus 1 is minus i times minus 1 to the power n. This exponential is cosine x times 2n plus 1 minus 2k plus i sine of x times 2n plus 1 minus 2k. Multiplying by minus i, we get here minus i. This plus i becomes 1. Take the real part of both sides. On the left-hand side, we have sine x to the power 2n plus 1. On the right-hand side, we have 1 over 2 to the power 2n plus 1 times summation k from 0 to 2n plus 1. 2n plus 1 choose k. Minus 1 to the power n plus k times this sign. Split the sum into summation k from 0 to n. And then another sum written here using the index j from n plus 1 to 2n plus 1. In this summation, set j equal to 2n plus 1 minus k. When j is 2n plus 1, k is equal to 0. When j is n plus 1, k is equal to n. This binomial coefficient becomes 2n plus 1, choose 2n plus 1 minus k, which is equal to 2n plus 1, choose k. Minus n to the power n plus j becomes minus 1 to the power 3n plus 1 minus k. Minus 1 to the power 3n is equal to minus 1 to the power n. Minus 1 to the power minus k is minus 1 to the power k. This part is minus 1 to the power n plus k times minus 1. If in the argument of this sine function, j is replaced by 2n plus 1 minus k, 
we get sine x times minus 2n plus 2k minus 1. This is minus sine of x times 2n minus 2k plus 1. Minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. This part here is identical to this one. Sine x to the power 2n plus 1 is this summation multiplied by 2. The idea is to divide both sides by x squared, integrate over x from alpha to infinity, then we take the limit as alpha tends to 0 from above. When we integrate the right-hand side, we need to do integrals in this form. Integral x from alpha to infinity sine x beta, where beta is a real positive number, divided by x squared. Let's do the substitution. x beta equal to u. When x tends to infinity, u tends to infinity. When x is alpha, u is alpha beta. Sine x beta is sine u. dx is du over beta. Simplifying, we get beta times integral u from alpha beta to infinity sine u over u squared. This is beta, integral u from alpha beta to infinity sine u d minus 1 over u. We do integration by parts. When we use the limits of integration, we get sine alpha beta over alpha. Note that sine u is a bounded function. This function of u tends to 0 as u tends to infinity. We also have beta integral u from alpha beta to infinity 1 over u times cosine u. We make use of this result. Integral u from eta to infinity, where eta is a positive real number, of cosine u over u is minus a small gamma, Euler Mascaroni constant, minus log eta plus the integral u from 0 to eta of 1 minus cosine u divided by u. Based on this result, we can write this part as minus beta times a small gamma minus beta log alpha beta plus integral u from 0 to alpha beta of 1 minus cosine u divided by u. Now we have this result for integral x from alpha to infinity sine x beta over x squared. We apply this result to the representation of sine x to the power 2n plus 1 after dividing both sides by x squared, then integrating over x from alpha to infinity. This integral is that one if beta is equal to 2n minus 2k plus 1. Note that we have trouble here because we take the limit as alpha tends to 0 from above and we have log alpha. The good news is that log alpha is actually multiplied by 0. Consider the sum k from 0 to n, 2n plus 1 choose k minus 1 to the k times 2n plus 1 minus 2k. Write down the sum as 1 half times itself plus 1 half times itself. Here the sum is written using index j. Let j be equal to 2n plus 1 minus k. When j is n, k is n plus 1. When j is 0, k is 2n plus 1. 2n plus 1 choose j is 2n plus 1 choose 2n plus 1 minus k, which is 2n plus 1 choose k. This bracket becomes minus 2n plus 1 minus 2k. Minus 1 to the j is minus 1 to the power 2n plus 1 minus k, which is minus 1 times minus 1 to the power k. Minus 1 times minus 1, that's 1. The summand here is equal to the summand there. We can combine both sums as summation k from 0 to 2n plus 1 of 2n plus 1 choose k minus 1 to the power k times 2n plus 1 minus k. The binomial expansion of 1 plus z raised to the power 2n plus 1 is summation k from 0 to 2n plus 1 of 2n plus 1 choose k z to the k. Differentiating both sides with respect to z, we get that 2n plus 1 times 1 plus z to the power 2n is summation over k from 0 to 2n plus 1 of 2n plus 1 choose k, k times z to the k minus 1. If z is equal to minus 1, we get that summation k from 0 to 2n plus 1 of 2n plus 1 choose k times minus 1 to the power k is equal to 0. From this part, when we set z equal to minus 1, we get that summation k from 0 to 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1 choose k times minus 1 to the power k times minus k is equal to 0. Multiply here by 2n plus 1, then add. We get that this sum and consequently that one both are equal to 0. After applying the sum, we can remove both these terms. Integral x from alpha to infinity sine x to the power 2n plus 1 over x squared is 1 over 4 to the power n summation k from 0 to n 2n plus 1 choose k minus 1 to the power n plus k between brackets, we have this part plus 1 over alpha sine alpha times 2n minus 2k plus 1. We also have this integral. When alpha approaches 0 from above, this integral tends to 0. Note that the limit of 1 minus cosine u over u when u tends to 0 from above is equal to 0. When alpha tends to 0 from above, this part tends to 2n minus 2k plus 1. When we apply the sum, we get 0. This is the only surviving part. When we have integral over positive x of sine x to the power 2n plus 1 over x squared, we get 1 over 2 to the power 2n, summation k from 0 to n, 2n plus 1 choose k, times minus 1 to the power n plus k minus 1, times 2n minus 2k plus 1, times log 2n minus 2k plus 1. Integral over positive x of sine x to the power m over x squared. 
when m is 2, we get pi over 2. When m is 3, we get 3 log 3 over 4. In this case, we use this expression with a small n equal to 1. We have 1 over 4. When k is 0, the binomial coefficient is 1. Minus 1 to the power 1 plus 0 minus 1, that's 1. 2n minus 2k plus 1 is 2 minus 0 plus 1, that's 3. Note that in this sum, we can stop at n minus 1 because when k is equal to n, we have log 1, which is 0. When m is equal to 4, small n is 2, we get pi over 16, 2 over 3, 4 choose 2, which is 6. This is pi over 4. When m is 5, small n equals 2, we have 1 over 16. When k is 0, the binomial coefficient is 1, minus 1 to the 2, plus 0 minus 1, that's minus 1, 2n minus 2k plus 1, that's 5. We have another term with a small k equal to 1. The binomial coefficient is equal to 5. Minus 1 to the power n plus k minus 1 is plus 1. 2n minus 2k plus 1 is 3. Integral x from 0 to infinity. Sine x to the power 5 over x squared is 5 over 16 log 27 divided by 5.